Act 1, Initial Doctor Visit. Hi, Ms. McLean. I'm Dr. Rinaldi. Hi. I hear you're here for an HIV test today. Yes, Melissa told Jacqueline, they told Tracy, that Jason was well. Anyway, yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, well, we'll begin by drawing some of your blood first, and then we'll send it out to the lab for an ELISA test to be done. What's an ELISA test? How's it going to tell you that I have HIV? Or All right, well, don't worry. I'll explain to you so that you'll understand. First, the ELISA test takes place to test for the presence of HIV in your blood. You begin with the plate containing the virus antigen. Then, using your drawn blood that either contains the antibodies against the virus or not, will be added to the plate that contains the antigen. This will then determine whether or not your antibodies from your blood react with the virus or not. Then the plate is washed to remove the non-bonding antibodies. Then a color tagged antibody will bind the bound antibodies to the antigen and a color change will result. Oh, so wait, you mean if there's a color change, it means I have HIV? Not exactly. There would have to be some confirmatory test done to make sure whether or not you really did, but we wouldn't worry about that until the test came back. Act two, follow-up visit. Hi, Ms. McLean. All right, just tell me, am I gonna die? Okay, well, we got your results back from the ELISA test, and you are negative. Oh, okay. All right, so um, that's pretty, it's a very specific short test, so that should be a... Uh, How did you know it was negative? Um, well, we have a data image that I'll be able to show you that we have a positive and negative control included, and we compare the color change with those and yours match the negative control. Okay. Whew. All right, so you stay safe.